Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Do you guys think I could sit down in my own chair? You think maybe you could scoot over so there was a little room for me? Was that not recording? I just recorded this whole thing. I am sitting here with a blanket on me. Baron is next to me, you can't see him. Hello to you and happy Vlogmas day three. Today is an unusual day very unusual. I took the day off work and for a teacher that's a big deal because you have to find a substitute, you have to come up with lessons that a substitute can handle, you have to write all those lessons out for the substitute to be able to understand them and relay them to the students, you have to leave instructions in my case for equipment and what can be used and what can't be used when I'm not there, you have to leave instructions for class expectations and norms and are they allowed to do this or that or get out of their seats or talk or move around or use the internet or blah 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 the list is endless it's a lot of work to prepare for a substitute so I took the day off I did all this preparation and then of course you have to organize things and print things out and staple them and label things and put them you know nice and neat on the desk where it's clear when they get there and everybody knows what they're doing I try to make it as easy as possible for the sub took the day off work did all that work in order to take Paul to this procedure today and yesterday we find out his procedure's been canceled which means I did all that work for nothing Thing. It means that I lose one of my days off that I get to take. I mean, I'm home. I'm getting things done today. It's almost noon. I've been up since 4.30. I slept in today. Finished editing Vlogmas Day 2. Getting up that late is why that video went up a little late. Some of you noticed that. I've done a few other things I've been meaning to do, and now it's almost noon, and I'm finally getting around to filming my morning Vlogmas day three. And that's also how I had time to make that nicer breakfast, which was delicious. I am probably not gonna have the toast this morning, but I will open up the jam for you. And we have something fun planned for later today. So I'm gonna take you and the dogs and follow along to that. Since we have the day off, we had to make other plans for Vlogmas. Now yesterday, I showed you that I got this hole punch in the mail. It's a leather hole punch for punching holes in belts, or in my case, bag straps. And today I'm gonna reveal to you the bag that I got that's new to my collection that I want to punch a hole in. And that is another Rebecca Minkoff Edie bag. This one is in nylon and it's in the color military. I'll give you a little spin so you can see the whole thing. There's a big magnetic back pocket. Let me pull the strap out. And the base, this bag has gold hardware. And most of the ED bags have two straps with a little leather piece that just goes over your shoulder. This has a different strap. It's one and it's crossbody. It is adjustable on right here where the adjustable part of the buckle is. Uh, that's obvious, but even at its longest length, which is right here, it still hits me a little shorter than I would like it to, and there are still a good four inches where I can punch some more holes. So that's why I got the hole punch, and I'm gonna try that out. I have already carried this bag a couple times, and here's what I wanna say about it. Before I purchase this, well, I'm gonna say a couple things. I got it from Saks Off Fifth. They might still have some. If so, I will link them below. I think they were priced down to $130. Originally, they were $228, so that's a good discount. But I got this from Saks when they had another discount on top of that, and I paid something like $70 or $80 for it, and I thought, I'd thought about the nylon bags for a while and I wasn't really sure and I had watched YouTube videos and the reviews weren't great on them. People were saying that they look cheap. Personally, I don't think this does. And that the nylon felt super thin. It felt like it would rip. This has not been my experience at all. I, having heard that, was expecting that I might want to return it after I saw it in person. I definitely don't. I loved it right away. I think the nylon feels great. It's got all the puff that I was looking for. I love the sound it makes. 
I think it's really pretty with the hardware. I, the gold looks great. I do wish that they had a silver option. I would say the only thing that to me looks kind of cheap is the strap. They could have done a better job with the leather part of the strap. But y'all know I love Edie bags. Here's something too, if Rebecca Minkoff is watching, and I saw them comment on another YouTube video that did a review of one of their nylon bags, so I know they watched some videos. Here is an improvement that I would make the leather Edie bags that this bag has and those don't, and that is the flap here opens with two magnets, one on each corner, and oh my god, that's a game changer. It's fabulous. Usually there's one magnet right here, and it's way too strong. People always complain about how strong that magnet is and how difficult it is to open the bag. This is strong enough to hold the bag closed, even if it tumbles over, but also easy enough to be able to open and close it. One of the problems with these flat bags is when you're walking around with it and you go to close it, it can be difficult to find just the right place for the little snap to snap. And with this, you just, I mean, it's no work at all. It's magic. It just happens. The interior of the bag is the exact same layout as the Edie. By the way, this is the jumbo size. This bag is lined with the same nylon that's on the outside of the bag. It also has some leather trim. This may be my favorite Edie bag of all the ones that I have had some experience with. I just really, really love this nylon. I mean, it feels like a, a comfy pillow. People always say that, but more like a sleeping bag or like one of those puffy down jackets that people wear. I don't see a difference in the quality of the material versus some of those products that I've had experience with. It's also incredibly lightweight, so very easy to carry around. I recommend it. And they come in lots of colors. And actually there is a green one that has the silver hardware. And I have thought about getting that one too, but then do I really need both of those? No, but do I really need any of the stuff I have? No, but I buy it anyway because I love it, I enjoy it. All right, let's do the giveaway for the Coach water bottle from Vlogmas Day One. Here we go, let's pick a winner. I have the URL for the Vlogmas Day One video. I have the filter for it to search for comments that include the word whiskey. I clicked the Get YouTube Comments button. There are 112 entries that use the word whiskey. Now I just click the Start button. Good luck, everyone. The winner is Catherine MCM. Congratulations! And there's her comment. I'm definitely going to have to check out the Whiskey Vault on YouTube. That sounds fabulous. Thank you so much for recommending them, Catherine. I will comment on your comment that you are the winner, and we will message privately so I can get your address and ship that out to you. Let's open advent calendars. Oh, and yes, that was honey-baked ham that I had in the eggs this morning, left over from Thanksgiving and it's still delicious. It's afternoon at this point, so let's start with the whiskey calendar. Although I won't drink it right now. Door number three. McKenley's Shackleton Blended Malt Scotch Whiskey. Thank you to Andrew who commented and told me, verified that Scotch whiskey is just made in Scotland. A couple people told me that actually. And then someone else clarified for me, and thank you for this, that Scotch is whiskey. Scotch and whiskey aren't different things. So it's not Scotch and whiskey, it's Scotch whiskey. Make sense? Now we know. Now for jam or honey. Lemon yuzu spread. What is yuzu? Do it yourself advent calendar time. Item number three. It's a dashboard that I got off Etsy. I will link the shop below for the PM size six ring Louis Vuitton agenda. I thought that was pretty cute. I'm gonna pretend that this is hot chocolate and not coffee because I don't drink coffee. But otherwise, it looks a lot like me and my, all my stuff. On the back, there's black and white polka dots. So that's going in the Louis Vuitton PM agenda that Winnie got me for Christmas. Or was it my birthday? Pretty sure it was Christmas a few years ago. Thanks again, Winnie. Time for a caramel. Maybe I'll actually eat one today. Do a number three. Uh-oh, where did it go? It has fallen. See, I told you, these things aren't keeping the candies in place. I reached my finger in and I pulled out the first caramel that I could reach. And bloody hell, it's Cafe Noir coffee. <sighs> This is going to Paul. I bought that calendar because I was really looking forward to eating some of the caramels. Someday, someday. Kindness calendar. Remember, I haven't done yesterday's yet because I'm waiting on your votes from Vlogmas Day 2 to see who you want me to leave compliments for. By the time you see this video, I will have already tallied them up and decided here is door number three. And I discovered yesterday that instead of trying to pry up a corner, you just kind of push on the back of the calendar and the door will open easily. 
Yesterday while I read the mission, I filmed the text on the calendar itself. That was sort of boring, I thought. Instead, I'm going to show you this while I'm reading. A lot of you are really enjoying seeing those two. So in 2009, Caitlin Boyle suffered a meltdown in a public restroom. Amidst her tears, she reached into her purse for a post-it note, wrote, You're beautiful on it, and put it up on the mirror. She then took a picture of the note and went home to blog about the experience. Roxy, are you enjoying this story? The response was overwhelming, and since then, her Operation Beautiful movement has inspired people all over the world to put up inspirational post-it notes in public. Mission number five, let's spread some love. Prepare some post-it notes with encouraging phrases and put them up around town for others to find. And or, mission number six, prepare some notes with uplifting messages and then sneak out late at night and put them in your neighbor's mailboxes. It'll be a nice surprise hidden in their usual pile of bills. Do they not realize that bills don't come in the mail anymore? Everything is digital these days, guys. I think it might be cool if I write some post-its and put them up around school for the kiddos. What do you think, guys? Roxy, do you think that's a good idea? Is it? It's a good idea? I think it is. Paul just did his whole advent calendar thing and I didn't record any of it. We're on a roll with that, so here's a look at it. Can you give us a little spin? He's already eaten half of it. <laughs> but let's see what it is. I can't pronounce that. Frulet Frulatine Hazelnut Giaduja <laughs> Gianduja Wafer Pieces. That's all Greek to me. It's good. Okay, hold your hand out, Paul. This was my caramel today and it's coffee flavored. Ugh. Oh my goodness, the best. Dog cookie advent calendar time. Oof, ooh, excuse me. Gosh, it's too bad you were in the way and you got hit by the advent calendars. Baron, you've lucked out. Door number three is right next to you. There's plastic, thank goodness. Oh, we had those treats the other day. You guys liked them. They were very crunchy. Do door number three on the second calendar, which you can't see because Baron's big old head's in the way. And those look familiar as well. Baron, is it your turn to stick your nose in? Just one. The other one's for your sister. Yeah, these are the ones that smell like fish. I'm being stalked. Someone sent help. She looks like a beautiful sphinx. A beautiful, very floofy sphinx. Stalker sphinx. I shall now attempt to use this hole puncher to punch a hole in this bag here. Excuse my vlog messy desk, please. Here's the end of the strap. You can see there's plenty of room for a couple more holes. I think I'll just do one and it won't be spaced evenly. I'll put it about right there. So here it is in the longest length that Rebecca Minkoff provided, the longest pre-punched hole. And that sits a little high for me crossbody. I'd like it to be a little lower. So let's put it on the hole that I just punched. And there it is. This does hang a little bit lower and that's much better. It's more comfortable. I would still like it even a little bit lower than that. Another inch or two down would be great. Fantastic bag. I can do a full review on this after Vlogmas sometime and I have other bags coming. So look forward to that. I forgot to tell you guys yesterday that with this coach chain strap on that camera bag. It was a little too short, so I added these extenders that I got from Dress Up Your Purse. I will link them below. That was perfect. That helped a lot. All right, now it is time to put this lovely little dashboard into my planner that Winnie gave me. By the way, the COVID vaccination card fits perfectly in the pocket on this planner. Ta-da! Done. That looks great. Well, we're taking the dogs on an adventure. We've come over to the park Herman Park in Houston, where we used to live. We used to live right across the street from it. But Roxy didn't live with us then. We had Baron and Sebastian, so Roxy has never been here. And we thought, why don't we bring her? We've got some free time. It'll be fun, get a little exercise. Lots of things to sniff. And it's a really beautiful part of the park. All those buildings over there, the Texas Medical Center. 
and that's one of our bayous. I brought the Edie to the park because it's lightweight, it's crossbody, it leaves my hands free for the leashes, and I can also hold what I need with vlogging equipment and all that. Paul brought his bag of the day. What's your bag? Billingham camera bag. How's my accent? When you hear about major flooding in Houston, I think maybe you can tell how deep these bayous are compared to the buildings there, and then there's all the grassy area too that slopes down. When Houston floods, the bayou is not only full of water, but it's overflowed with water, like in Hurricane Harvey. We came out here that morning and stood over there and we were standing in about a foot of water on the ground level up top. A few years ago, we were walking over here and right about there, we found a big snake. It was about, I don't know, four or five feet long. It was a four foot Burmese python. This was always our favorite view from the park. Isn't that pretty? Helicopter there is Life Flight. 